Okay, so it just clicked that I am actually recording right now. Okay, um, I guess I could literally, I mean, oh. Okay, wow, that's fucking horrible. Like, it doesn't matter, but still, it's not doing me any justice. If I had my tripod, we'd be straight. We would be set, but I have no idea where it is. Okay, this is probably about as good. Ew! But this is probably about as good as we're getting. This is fine. Like, obviously this isn't a formal video. Um, perfect. Okay. Okay. Hey, guys. So, okay, if I seem like slightly uncomfortable or anxious in this video it's because i am but y'all are probably confused by the title and we're gonna go ahead and get into it i'm, I'm acting like i didn't prepare for this video like i have two pages worth of notes that i wrote just so i don't forget anything specifically that i would like to say i'm not this video wasn't scripted but i have things i wanted to say so, first of all, I'm filming this video outside of my apartment complex. Y'all don't really see this area frequently because I'm not really out here. I have been more recently, but I didn't want to film this video in my room sitting on the floor because anytime I film a video like that, it's always been sad or news I'm not the most proud to share. And I didn't want that to be the tone we set for this video because it's actually extremely exciting for me and I'm excited to share it with you guys. I want to share something that I haven't necessarily been hiding. I just wasn't ready. I'm just looking around if there's like anybody else. Yeah. Um, I just, yeah, I wanted to make sure I was ready and that things were set in stone before I made anything public, of course. I feel like that just makes sense. I was actually, just let me, I'm gonna get to it, but let me say everything that I wanted to say. Cause I know you're probably like, okay, what is she? Okay, I was not going to upload this video until I was already, like I've already done what this video is about but that would seriously be the biggest bomb to just drop on you guys and for you guys to really take in even though yeah i mean like i want you guys to be a part of the process i just wanted to make sure i was ready to share even though it seems like super spur of the moment and sudden when it kind of was for you guys this has been in the works since like end of august ish and i've not said a word other than to close very close close friends and family like i said i know it feels new to you guys but you know when girls will say or just people in general they'll say um like they mentally kind of checked out or broke up with somebody before actually leaving that's kind of how i am with this situation i'm so mentally like i'm doing so good mentally but like i'm saying um like i've mentally detached myself from okay this isn't gonna make sense until i say what i'm doing so i'm moving again yes i am moving again if you guys have not kept up with me that is completely fine but um little refresher or just a little backstory i am from north carolina i mean i was born in virginia see how i'm stalling and that's it's okay let me give myself the time i've been in north carolina 15 years chilling like this is where i was raised i moved out of my family's house when i was 18 years old i moved to a, an apartment complex in raleigh i was there for a year i loved it but i was ready for something different i wanted to kind of expand my horizons just place myself in a little more well-developed area that i felt like i could grow physically mentally i just thought it was you know so i had this whole series on my channel where i was apartment hunting for apartments in charlotte long story short i ended up getting accepted to a complex i absolutely love in charlotte i still love it's gorgeous it was a great experience but a month went by and i moved back to raleigh and that's where i've been for the last six months since then just in a different complex because i didn't want to move back to the same apartment complex i was the first time around i know you may be thinking basically i'm moving okay if that's all you wanted to know that's it i'm moving but i know you may be thinking like why are you why are you going to move again if you just moved back from charlotte and um in the video where i had talked about me moving back i talked about how isolated i felt how i just didn't feel like it was the right place for me and i still don't because i love charlotte it's gorgeous and there's a lot to do there i would love to go back and visit and i have been multiple times since i lived there but i don't feel like it was for me because when have you guys ever heard me mention charlotte before i moved there 
never. I just knew it was something different. It wasn't too far from home and it was a pretty city. Didn't really know much about it, but that's what kind of excited me because it was something new and you know, I was just ready for a fresh start. I did not have any um, like base. I don't know the word. I, d I didn't have a base there. I had no family. Like I had nothing there. Like I just moved there with no, no nothing. And don't get me wrong, I love my alone time, but it just, it didn't feel right. Um, I feel like even if I did have friends there, Charlotte, I was there. And maybe if I would have stayed longer, it would have started to feel like home, but I just wasn't feeling it. But my mistake that I made there, that I don't give myself shit for, there's no reason to give myself shit for things. Like things I'm not the most proud of in the past because wouldn't be where I am today without it and the past doesn't even exist anymore, so. But I moved. The moment I felt those negative emotions, I just dipped. I just immediately reacted from those negative emotions. And that is just a human trait. That's something that we all do. It may not be in an extreme way like I did, especially for me to make the whole process so public and then I just moved back. It was like that all kind of built up to me feeling kind of guilty when I actually made the decision. But you don't grow doing that. And I'm not saying I still don't think I would have made it through that year in Charlotte. I just really wasn't. But I was I was down bad in Charlotte, okay? I was it was bad. Okay. So what has always been for me is Florida. 100% I just got so excited when I said that because yeah you guys know Florida has always been my happy place I've always expressed it ever since you know maybe ever since I was I mean since the first time I visited Florida when I was 14 I think I fell in love my last couple of birthdays I've celebrated there I'm always coming back and forth from Florida y'all know that's really one of the only places I've ever visited I love Florida I don't know what it is I mean I do know what it is but not specifically, it's just how I feel there. I've always felt like that is just my place. And you know, the last time I was in Florida, I was in Miami, Florida. And I had a lot of you guys ask, um, could you ever see yourself living there? Do you think you would ever move there? And I see all those comments, but I'm not gonna respond because I already know the answer. I'm just going to, you know, keep it, make sure things are set in stone before I say anything. I've gotten a lot better with that. Like not just, yeah, you know, so flip stage <laughs> okay i did want to express how yeah like i did the whole charlotte thing it wasn't my favorite i moved back to raleigh when i come back i'm comfortable raleigh is like north carolina but specifically the raleigh area this is where i'm from this is where i live this is what's comfortable for me this is what feels like kind of a comfort blanket around me um i know it like the back of my hand i could probably take you anywhere i, I always be using my gps but i could take you anywhere and i've like I've experienced pretty much everything there is to do here. Anybody that's from North Carolina can tell you like, I mean, small town, we go to Target and Starbucks for fun. That's all there is. <laughs> but you know, six months later, I realized where that got me. I'm comfortable. I'm right back to square one. And that doesn't mean I'm not thankful. You know, I'm thankful I'm even able to, y'all know, I'm not gonna get into all that, but like, I'm right back to square one. Where did that get me? nowhere like and that's where it really hit me do you want to be comfortable or do you want to grow and you know i can grow here and i have i have i feel like recently i've gone through such a mental and emotional shift that this is the most myself i felt probably in my entire life i feel like i have purpose i feel like i have potential that's great y'all have probably you know i cut my hair that i never thought i'd do this shit looks fire um, but the biggest shift that i'm about to go through is moving to a whole other state and not just florida but miami florida i'm moving to miami florida i'm moving to miami i'm moving to miami so like yeah i'm comfortable here but it also gets emotionally physically and mentally draining knowing that i can only go in it's just circles like it's the same shit every day and that's fine to have routine and structure but i just know there's so much more out there for me i would love to see what the potential i have and just how much more i have in me but because i feel like i can only exert and produce so much here it's really you know this is my hometown i love it but like this is not i don't think it's where i belong you know yeah, so I officially 
got accepted into my future residence um, early September. I've known since then officially. So y'all would, y'all can probably understand how I would emotional or mentally kind of check out from North Carolina once that happened. Like I knew I had my next plan set. So I'm actually really impressed with myself, the way I've been able to continue to create content here and just act as if not really acting but just trying to yeah it's not acting at all i don't know why i said that it's just being present and realizing yes it's in the future to come but we still have over a month left you know this is that's then this is now and you know we just kept it pushing from there because i knew no matter how much i obsessed over the idea or the fact that i'm moving it wasn't gonna come any faster y'all may have questions why miami opposed to any other part of florida i feel like a lot of y'all especially if you live there you could probably answer that question um but you know i've been to miami a couple times now i don't know the area inside and out but um i mean like i'm not even gonna go and get into that i feel like the only thing i'll really end up doing in orlando is universal that would be like a once in a blue moon thing miami has everything the energy is incredible and it just feels like its own world it really is oh yeah i was also gonna say the difference of me moving to charlotte opposed to florida there's tons of differences let me say miami because i feel like People that live in Miami are gonna get on my ass if I say Florida rather than Miami. It's Miami, it's not Florida. I have really, I have friends, I have close family friends. Like I have a base in Florida. I have Paige, which is seriously like an older sister to me. Her parents are like my second parents. I have probably more friends in Florida than I do here at this point. Oh, there was something else big I wanted to say. I don't wanna miss anything oh yes i did want to say i did want this video to go up before my upcoming birthday transformation type video because y'all are not dumb like y'all are smart if i i'm just doing a little little get together here with close friends family just a little birthday dinner slash hasta luego like see ya like a um farewell even though i'll be back for thanksgiving and you know plenty of times after that but it would be if i did not celebrate my birthday in florida y'all would be y'all would know something is up so i didn't want to feel like i'm walking on eggshells in that video because i'm gonna need to pack and um i'm not gonna be in florida yet and you know at least i could be open about that process in that video rather than trying to avoid it and not say shit until i'm already there because then it's like y'all didn't get to be included in anything also um one of the last things i wanted to touch on is this is also one of the main reasons probably the biggest reason i wanted to learn spanish because i'm about to move to an area i looked it up i think it's it's over half the population speak spanish and it says i looked up around 683,000 people i don't know how updated this is but around 683,000 people speak english 1.7 million people speak spanish that's million more and then yeah there's also like asian and pacific islanders like 25,000, which is insane yeah like i'm about to be in an area where like everybody speaks spanish like that's just i'm gonna be surrounded by a completely different culture a whole new language a majority of the time there's gonna be places like i've seriously been told it may be hard to get around some places in miami if you don't know spanish because that's what they speak there and yeah so for me to move to an area where everybody speaks spanish and it said like even people that speak english it may not be very well and you know we got around just fine but i feel like for me to be moving there being a resident of miami it would be almost ignorant for me not to learn like why would i not want to know i can connect with tons of new people being able to speak spanish like that's what i'm gonna be around so i'm also really excited because i'll naturally be able to pick it up since i'll be around it anyway it's always gonna be used and i would feel so much better being able to speak to people with their first language their native language what they're most comfortable with before they would have to go out of their way to speak english to me if that makes sense so yeah i mean like why would i not want to literally it's the second most spoken language in the u.s it will never not go to use i've always said if i was ever going to learn a new language it would be spanish and american sign language because i feel like those are both very useful and important languages to know yeah we gonna learn and my ultimate goal is to at least be able to have i want to be conversationally fluent by i'll say the end of next year and i completely think that's doable yeah i don't know why i thought this video like i think i said everything i need to say i filmed for 22 minutes um yeah i'm moving to miami florida i am officially checking out of north carolina i will not be coming back 
I'm gonna say that now because I really want to actually stay in a place for a year. Like, I just can't see myself living in Miami and wanting to come back to NC. And I'm not going to allow myself to do that. I'm saying it now. If y'all ever see me crying in Miami, in Miami because I miss North Carolina, y'all feel free to yell at me. Like, y'all can keep me in check because, I mean, yeah, there may be times where I get homesick. I'm going to be, you know, around 12 hours away. But I'm ready to make that shift. I'm okay with being uncomfortable. And I know that I'm going to flourish there. So with all that being said, I'm just about to completely go into a new phase of my life. And I feel really good about it. That's pretty much it. This shit is really happening. It hasn't really hit me yet. So I am extremely excited. So, you know, your girl going to Florida every other month for vacation. Your girl's about to officially live there, be a resident there which is just incredible but yeah that's it i feel like i don't need to say too much um i'm yeah i'm moving to miami florida so yeah north carolina it's been real but it's time to it's time to grow it's time i'm just so excited like when i think about how i felt the last time i was in miami i can't even grasp the fact that i'm about to live in that um we were living like tourists but i mean why the fuck not like i'm gonna be there so you know it's gonna take me time to really learn the area and i've already made so many cool connections with people that live there already um yeah i can't believe this shit is real life but i'm so excited to take you guys through the process i love you all so much um thank you for watching and i'll see y'all in my next video bye